The only thing I care about is finishing this job for security and the robot guards come. Because needless to say, I don't want to be here when you guys get arrested. Break Gaming, and I'm going to welcome you to my next main walkthrough slash Let's Play series. Viewers, I want to welcome you to one of my top three favorite Final Fantasy games of all time. Viewers, I want to welcome you to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7 for the PlayStation 1. Yes, now this walkthrough slash Let's Play will basically um, cover both the, um, the, or the new PC version, the PlayStation... Um, did it come out on PS4? Or something like that? Like a... I don't know. The game has come out so many fucking times. And shit, so I, I don't quite remember all the ports. But it don't basically cover all of those except the remake. That came out on the PS4. So, there you go. But in any case, viewers, yeah, I'm not doing the remake. Once the remake does get its own PC version, then yeah, I will eventually do that. But for now... Um... Blah, blah, blah. So... Let's just avoid conversation about that. I, though I will point out the differences, obviously, because there are a, much, a lot of differences. But in any case, let's start in the game. <sighs> this intro. I've seen this intro so many times over the years. And yet, no matter how many times I see it, no matter how old I get, it never, never gets old. Like, at all. I mean, you got these... You got the new generation now that is all about graphics, graphics, graphics. If it doesn't have the best graphics, it's shit. But no, no, no. You see, back then, back in my era, we played games that were even lower than, than even lower than 480p back in the day. Those games were top-notch quality back in the day. You just gotta, you know, you gotta enjoy the little things because it ends up becoming great later on, just like this game. This was the very first Final Fantasy game that I ever owned. And looking back on it, when it came out in 97, oh man, I had a fucking blast with this. I used to always write down episode titles and stuff like that whenever I played the game. So that way when I got to a certain location, it would, it would be like an anime episode running in my head. Hence why I ended up eventually becoming a Let's Player in the future. <laughs> so there you go. In any case, viewers, we are here, finally, to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Oh, God, I love that. Fucking love that. Ooh, this game never fucking gets old. Yeah, yeah. You can have your voice acting and, and epic fight scenes and random shit that's just you know, popped up in the story that wasn't there in the original, looking at you, remake, and shit. Like, what the fuck are these whispers? What the fuck are all this shit? This shit wasn't in this! Stop adding shit in just for the sake of doing it. But that's just my opinion. In any case, hey, how's it going? Intruder! Ah! Stop right there! Oof! Not, not, not so fast. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Come on, newcomer, follow me. Follow you where? Uh, I guess we have to follow the big, tall, black dude. Well, there you go. In any case, we don't have a name for our um ex-soldier yet. But well, let me go into the menu real quick before I forget. Now, the item menu is it's like Final Fantasy IX in essence. Basically, item menu you can arrange them in any order that you want. Um, key items go there. Your magic list um, will house all your magic. Once you get cured of magic, you'll be able to use it from this menu outside of battle. Um, this is the materia section, but I'll go over that later. The equip menu, you can equip your weapons here, your armors here, as well as your accessories. I'll go over those when you get them. You can check the status of your character. You can switch the order of your character, front row, back row, or depending on which rows you want to have them on. Now, if a character's in the front row, they'll take the full brunt of damage as well as 
you know, dealing regular damage. If you put your character in the back row, they'll take less damage, but they'll deal less damage. You see what I mean? Now, in this game, we have limit breaks. They're kind of like the desperation attacks from Final Fantasy VI. Basically, every time your character gets hit, like, a lot, and stuff, the limit bar will fill up. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the trance gauge, or uh, the trance gauge in Final Fantasy IX. However, luckily, unlike Final Fantasy IX, these limit breaks don't, you know, you know, wear off and shit after a while. So, once you hit limit break, you have the option to use it or not use it. Whereas in Final Fantasy IX, you had the fucking, you, um, you had no choice but to use it. Cloud will learn, um, <coughs> oh shit, um, crap. Um, just forget what I just said. Um, yeah, X Soldier can learn um two limit breaks per level. His level four limit breaks we, we can only or level four limit break I should say he only gets one for level four. Um, you'll get that later on. It's it's um I'll go over that later. Basically, whenever you get a new limit break, you can set the level that you want your limit break to be. So once you get level two limit breaks, you can switch from level one to level two. Then you can also check to see um the um the description of what that move does. Basically, your menu here will basically, um, well, it's pretty standard. I don't really have to go into too much detail with this. But, well, there you go. Just like all my other playthroughs, I will be using a max money code. I haven't activated it yet, but I will soon. Just like all my playthroughs, so there you go. I don't like grinding for money. Didn't know that? You know now. So let's just get that out of the way. So you get this all done, or get this info in the first episode. So there you go. Just like I always do, this is how I roll. But in any case, uh, first enemy here, MPs, level 2, and they have 30 HP. Weak. They go down like one slash. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! But yeah, in, in the battles here, we got the active time battle. Basically, whenever you get to the time gauge, right there, to the point there, your character will be able to use various options that are in their battle menu. Limit is obviously your limit break, you got your HP, your MP. And, um, other things I'll go into later. Now, um, our ex-soldier friend has some magic on him. Um, Ice, a.k.a. Blizzard, and Bolt, a.k.a. Thunder! Which, you know, back in the day, they were just called Bolt, Fire, um, Ice, stuff like that. Whereas, in Final Fantasy VIII, they got chains of, you know, Zora, Blizzard, Lazaga, you know, shit like that. Hmm, pretty much. Wow! You used to be a soldier, all right. Not every day you find one in the group like Avalanche. Soldier? Avalanche? What kind of fucking name is that for for a terrorist group? Oh, sorry, of uh, freedom fighters. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Hold it, Jesse. He wasn't a soldier. He quit them and is now one of us. One of us. I didn't catch your name, stranger. Hmm. In the case, we also get to name our character, and yes, yes, his name is Cloud. Yeah, I know I spoiled it like two minutes in advance. Oh, I am so fucking sorry. But this is my playthrough, so as such, I'm going to be naming my character, as I always do, after myself. If you didn't know this, my name is Michael, or you can call me Mike. That's what you can call me anyway. So there you go. My! Why the M.I. is so close to the... Why the I is so close to the M, I have no idea, but that's just how it is. In any case, Mike, we'll still call him Cloud every now and then, but you know what I mean. He, he's still Cloud, just with my name. Mike, eh? I'm... I don't really care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. Wow, what a dick. The game just started and our main character's a dick. Wow. The hell y'all doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Our target's the North Mako Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Move out! Yes, sir! Hi. Right. Looks like Mr. T. <laughs> Ex-soldier, huh? Don't trust you. And maybe I don't trust you! Um, uh, Mr. Guy only has one arm and a gun on his arm and shit. Um, I should trust you, why? But in any case, yeah, his default name is Barrett, so we'll leave him like that. Or you can just call him Mr. T, whichever suits you. Yeah, press, press the cancel button or mark X or whatever to run it. Whatever the fuck you just said. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't work too much into it. In any case, that's the thing we're going to blow up? Wow. I mean, oh shit. Um, 
There wasn't anything said about blowing up. Uh, forget I said anything. I am totally fucking up on the first episode. Huh. Just blot out what I just said. Otherwise, in that, we got another new enemy here. That's a weird ass hound. Is that a dog or a cat? See, it looks like a fucking lion. Guard hounds. They have 42 HP. And they're weak as fuck, so take them out. Ow! Bitch! There you go. Surprise, surprise! One HP higher, and I kick, and I kick his ass in one hit. Nice. The damage almost seems fixedly appropriate. No, it, it really is not. I, I just got lucky. So, yeah, pretty much. Nice. And of course, every time you defeat enemies and stuff, you get EXP and AP. Your AP will be used to um, level up your materia and stuff like that. Like I said, I'll go into that later. So, there you go. Your EXP obviously is used to level you up, of course. Higher levels are, the better off you will be. Just keep that in mind. It's a pro tip. In any case, yo, it's your first time in a reactor? Hmm, I've been in lots of reactors. No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. Huh, the planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. So, these reactors are like power plants. I guess. Hmm. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shadow keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. The planet has blood? I'm not here for a lecture, bruh. Let's just hurry up and get out of here and do this. That's it. You're coming with me from now on. Why? Huh, whatever. But in any case, all right, we got Barrett to join the party. More party members! Um, Barrett is a long-range fighter, so as such, have him in the back row. Barrett being in the back row does not affect his damage output. So, safer in the back row. Trust me on this, I know. Alright, now, unfortunately, I cannot switch magic around. There is something different I'm going to be doing in this particular playthrough. I will go over that, um, well, when we get our third party member. But for now, don't worry about it. Code Decipher. Shut up, my phone. There you go. Or maybe my iPhone's um, text or um, news sticker noise was the sound that opened up these reactor doors. Huh? Broke your mind, didn't I? Yeah. Your iPhone has the power to open locked doors. Well, not yours, but yeah, pretty much. In any case, um, well, I guess if you have security apps, you, you know what, never mind. Yeah, um, those yellow chests here, we'll be finding them um, throughout our journey. Some some of those chests will not be yellow, by the way. Some of them will be brown, some of them will be blue, you know, shit like that. It changes depending on which area that you're in. Those Phoenix down, that Phoenix down that we just got, um, will restore your KO party member from, well, death. So, yeah. Switch on! Nintendo, switch on. No, no. In any case, what's up, dude? Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life, and that'll be that. Who cares? It's not my problem. Ugh, asshole. The planet's dying, Cloud. And I should care why. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robot guards come. Because, needless to say, I don't want to be here when you guys get arrested. If you d decide to stay here and do shit on your own. So, yeah, I'm only here to help you out. And then, once that's done, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Shaking his gun arm fist. Yeah. You have no left arm, sir! No, no, no. Or is Barrett right armed? Or right handed? Never mind. Otherwise than that, though, we got some more enemies in. There you go! And we actually get to hear the battle theme this time. Oh, I love it. In any case, new enemy here. Let's see. First ray. All right. Um, where are you at? Okay. 18 HP. They are weak to thunder. So have um cloud um have cloud use bolt. Of course, you don't really need it because they go down in like one physical attack anyway. So you just be wasting your time. Otherwise than that, though. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> there, what, there is another enemy in here called Mono Drive. You can find it in that little bridge in the section before we met up with Barrett. 
Inside the reactor, that is, not outside. There they are, right there. Wow, just talking about you guys. All right, in any case, the mono drives. They have 28 HP. They're weak to wind, elemental attacks. Unfortunately, we have no wind to speak of. Yet. So, ah, my way, bitch. But then again, they go down to, like, one physical attack anyway, so fuck it. Do it now! Ah! And destroy that beam gun cannon thing. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Chump change EXP from chump change enemies. Yay. How shocking. Good. In any case, push the OK button in front of the ladder and grab onto it. After that, use the directional button to move up and down. Huh, sounds simple enough. Alright, viewers, I'm back. Just wanted to make a quick little uh, save state. So that way I don't lose my progress. Make sure to save and save often, especially if you're on an emulator. So, there you go. Uh, if only emulators existed back in the day. And I'm talking before 2000, that is. That would have been so cool. To play games for consoles and shit that I just did not happen to own. So, there you go. Emulation is so cool. Hurry up. There you go. Crap! Right into a fucking random battle. Well, I guess that's what I get for going faster. Gotta go fast! In any case, new enemy here, Grunt. Let's see, because they're literally Grunt. Just not Team Rocket Grunt. 40 HP, they're weak as shit, get him out of the way. Oh, the guy in the back there, Sweeper. Swifter Sweeper, no. 140 HP, weak to Lightning. So, yeah, pretty much have Cloud use both on those guys. They're not so easily hittable in the back. And, yeah, in the back row, they'll take less damage, so Cloud should just finish off the guy with Bolt. Just don't waste time with that. Now, I'm not going to, well, I guess I could. I was going to save it for the boss fight, but I might as well show it off. Now, Braver! Again, Slash! Yeah! That's how you get shit done in my house. My house, bitch! In any case, but yeah, that was Cloud's Limit Break right there. You notice I'm not getting any extra money from that. That's my, um, my max money code. It's working somewhat. I have to readjust it. I'm using the old one. Otherwise than that, though, our first save point in the game. Now, whenever you get to these save points here that look like this, you can have the option to save your game, as well as use tents and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we lack tents. So, yeah. There you go. Use that to your advantage. Otherwise than that, though, with that said, hmm, I'm assuming that's the core. Eh. Restore materia? Hmm, what the fuck is that? Unfortunately, we cannot equip it because the materia section here is, is grayed out. And we're just not here yet. Ah, that could have been so useful right here. Whatever. Once we blow this place, this, this place ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of shit. Just junk. Mike, set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Aren't you the leader? Just do it. I'm, I'm gonna watch to make sure you don't pull or nothing. So you suspect me? We came all this way down here and you suspect me here? Wow. What was the point in you even bringing me on for this mission if you did not trust my credentials? You know what? Fuck you. Be my guest. What? Watch out! This isn't just a reactor! I'm, I'm inside your head! Huh? What's wrong? Huh? The fuck's wrong with you, Cloud? You ought to get mad or something? Hurry up! Alright, yeah, sorry! Asshole. In any case... There we go. Huh? Oh, come on! Set off the fucking security alarm! Here they come! Heads up! Nice! It's just time for a boss fight! Versus the Guard Scorpion! That is a big ass robot! Shit! But yeah, it's just, it's literally a giant robot. Scorpion. 800 HP, weak to lightning. Um, it should go without saying. So, yeah, he's annoying. Just, you know, yeah, pretty much. Have Cloud spam bolt, and Bear should just keep on attacking every chance you get. Cloud will pretty much be your main attacker here. 
And if you need to heal up, have Barret um, start using some potions. Barret will kind of act as your support here because his attacks aren't going to deal that much damage to this guy anyway. So, yeah, needless to say. But we shouldn't have too much to worry about. Although he does have one major mechanic that we have to watch out for. When he does eventually get around to using it, that is. Who knows, if I finish him off quick enough, he may not be able to do that. But, you know, I doubt, I doubt this will be the place that that happens. Yeah, it's not happening. Ow! Quit it. Are you done, bruh? Ah! Yeah, feel my bullets! Even though they didn't do a lot of damage. Shove a thunderbolt up your ass! There you go. That should be dealing way more damage than that shit. What the hell? Barrett, be careful. Don't attack while its tail is up. It's going to counterattack with its laser. What do you mean, attack? Attack? No! Don't attack! Ah, mistranslation fail! Yeah, you see there, viewers? Now, basically, Cloud meant to say don't attack while its tail is up, or else it'll counterattack with its laser, which it did. So, yeah, wait for its tail to go down. Wait for its tail to go down. There you go. Good boys. Now go after. But, yeah. You know, yeah. I did that on purpose. More so to show you guys what would happen when Cloud said that. He said attack when his tail is up. He didn't say don't attack. He just said attack. So, basically, the regular player who doesn't know any better would just go and attack. Thus, have, having the boss counter attack with tail laser. Which deals way too much damage. So don't be dumb. Don't attack it while its tail is up, or else it'll counterattack with its laser. Boom! So how much HP do you have left, brah? Whoa! Ow! Quit it. Good dudes! This should finish him off. Thunderbolt. Ha! There you go. You see, all you gotta do is just shout. Shout your finishing moves, and that's pretty much all you gotta do. Strike a pose. Nice. And for defeating that guy, woo, level up. We get the assault gun, Barrett's first upgrade in the game. Nice. Some bosses can drop items, some can drop weapons and armor or accessories. So there you go. Nice. The alarm is still going off? Come on, let's get out of here. Right. Self-destruct self sequence has been activated. Ten minutes to de ten minutes to detonation. Ten minutes? That's barely enough time for me to get a fucking cup of coffee. Oh my! Wow. Yeah, they really screw you over here. Literally. Huh? And yeah, we're on a time limit. And oh yeah, by the way, if you get back attacked, press the R1 and L1 button at the same time, and you can turn around before you get attacked. So yeah, bet you didn't know that. You know now. Ow! Get out of my way! Ice! Ice, ice, baby! There you go. Whoo, boy. If we're gonna be running into random encounters on the way out of here, that's not a good sign. Uh, yeah. We are gonna be running into random encounters. Viewers, can we get the fuck out of here before this reactor explodes? Or is this the end of the line at the start of the fucking game? Find out next time! You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming videos from me. Hit the bells and notify whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. So next time, do, do this. my great break game and I hope the race breaks. Have a great day, bros and brosettes. Smell you later. Smoke shot!